Hey guys, so today I got another video for you. Um, I'm going to be busting them out. Anything I can really think of that might be able to help everyone else out, definitely I'm going to test out. Um, today we're going to be talking about my new OnePlus um, 10 Pro. Now, I think they just came out with another OnePlus 10 Pro T, something along those lines. Uh, I've been having a lot of issues with it. I think... Um, Definitely, ha definitely has to be said at this point. I cannot recommend this phone to anybody. I really wouldn't. Um, we got a lot of problems um, as far as the apps opening up, launching. Um, they'll open. They'll say they're open, and then it'll just be a clear screen behind it uh, again. And then you get a black screen when you're opening these apps. Same thing, checking like um, like photos, like photos lock up oddly. Um, my worst like problem is probably the GPS. For some reason, it could it, honestly it might not even be the phone. It could just be like Sprint, T-Mobile. Um, again, I've only heard good things about T-Mobile, but I'm still on the Sprint company, which is now T-Mobile. I don't know how how this works out. But I'm having a lot of issues with um, GPS. Like, the sound's always loud as can be. It makes this weird echoing noise with their GPS built in. I use Waze. Waze is just acting up. Um, again, just about every app I use is acting up. Something's just fun funky with it. Between... This is something funky. I just can't explain what actually happens when I go about opening up an app when I go about opening up a video um, when I open up like say Facebook and um, things just just don't work right everything's just funky I don't know how to explain this but overall um, I think opening applications is a problem. I think that's really what they have to fix. Um, there's a few things like, like I said, Facebook photos. If I'm trying to like scroll through my photos, it'll only show one photo, and you won't, it won't allow you to scroll. So, again, that could be a pain. Um, GPS definitely a problem. The GPS that are is on this phone. I don't know. I don't know if OnePlus is in charge of updating it. <clears throat> but I've used both and they're just GPS is in and out it just doesn't work right so you know I'm sure this is a pretty fairly big portion uh, for this phone it doesn't have an internet or a signal problem I feel like the signal is always there so why it's going in and out I'm really not too sure it doesn't really matter when or how I use it usually ways and their um, their maps is just Google Maps, I think it is. Really bad. I'm maybe I'm just used to the um, iPhones maps, but this is just really bad. Um, I have seen there they've been updating it. Um, they just put out a system update for the phone. So again, I'm, I'll update you again if I see anything about it. But I don't really know what to think. Uh, I was pretty close to getting rid of the phone like last week when everything was just bugging out and whacking so you know I was this close to getting rid of it and I'm kind of still there but I'm like alright well they're putting out updates they're trying they're also putting out a new phone which is like come on update your old phone oh update this phone before you put out anything else there's a problem uh, I saw that I'm like yo alright give me that phone bring this one back I don't I don't know what they have to do. They have to do some. I like OnePlus. That's the bad part. I like OnePlus. I always liked OnePlus. I've been trying to pick up a OnePlus phone for seven years, I think. I've been looking at them since like 2015, 2016, maybe. So, you know, I like OnePlus. I like the brand. It's a little stand up. Like, it's different than I, Apple. Um,. They've always offered good um, specs for the money. And I think right about now, 
as far as it not being updated properly, maybe they just fixed it with the update, I'm not too sure. I still can't recommend it, but if this update does fix the phone, I still notice a few issues, but if it does fix the phone, again, I'll do another update on the on this, um, you know, I'm hoping, because they can make this a very good phone, and they can uh, figure out what they gotta do to update it, and I think it'll be pretty impressive for what it is. Um, again, that's like the main issue. Update is things got to be updated. Um, the GPS app has to be fixed. I don't care if it's Signal. I don't know what is wrong with it. I if I put in coordinates and this thing is the vo voice is like whacking out, echoing and. Um, dropping like completely dropping so so I'll put in the GPS it does it with a few other apps but it'll just crash like the apps will just crash out that's a problem too big problem so you know apps shouldn't be if I'm only I only have one app at a time I you know I make sure to you know use it fairly efficiently um but I only have one app open at a time when I play it, when I use this at any point in time. It's just going to be one app. But it'll crash out. Just about any app I'll use will probably crash out. So if I use it long enough. GPS is definitely one of those just crashes out. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I got a freaking, you know, I'm driving over here. And my GPS goes out. So, you know, that's not good. So, uh another problem the battery is large on the phone but don't don't mind Mr. Kitty uh, the battery is large on the phone but honestly it dies so quick I don't know what it is I put it on I use a couple like an app or two here or there and then it ends up dying so again this is, I think it's just more updates more fixes things gotta be done um I wouldn't go out of my way to buy a 10 Pro right now. I really would not. Um, the only thing I like about it, I've been taking pictures of my buddy, because you know, he, he likes when I take the photo, takes photos and videos and stuff. The photos are great. I'm telling you, they're like portrait style. These are professional pics that I'm getting with with just this phone alone. It looks really professional. The lighting's perfect. The videos are okay, but the still photos are amazing. They're just, every time I take a photo, it's like another professional photo. Um, they got to stop worrying about their new stuff and start fixing their old stuff. It's not even that old. So, again, even with, I feel like even with, this is off topic, but even with other electronics like graphics cards and um, processors, just about, especially graphics cards, I feel like the the branch should be updating even their old stuff. I bought a tablet the other day and the tablet's from 2013 and it doesn't allow like it, it hardly it like was having issues doing YouTube like you needed to do an updates and the updates are cut after like five or six years. I think honestly I think they should keep updating um, and keep allowing older products to use YouTube because I don't see a reason why they wouldn't be able to other than like hardware problems maybe but I think they should just keep updating them even like a small system update um, same thing with graphics cards I've gotten like 2010 models I think if they could possibly up upgrade them update them not update them not upgrade them if they could possibly update them I think they should be you know give a little love into their old product because people are still using these old products people are still buying them um, probably a little less than you know um, but especially with that whole graphics card um, you know price hike everyone was looking for a cheaper card everyone's looking for cheaper electronics um, with everything that was going on but um yeah, as for the phone, pictures are great, batteries are a problem, applications are an issue, GPS, uh, same thing, applications, um, they're a problem. 
applications breaking is another problem. So, other than that, I don't. F I feel like the speakers are just not that loud. Maybe I'm just. It's just another complaint. Um. To, you know, that's what it is. Hopefully they'll update it. Um. You know, I'm kind of stuck. Uh, I have a lot of music on here, so that's great. Music plays amazing. I have no issue with that. They, the apps stay open. The music app stays open regardless. Even if I think even if I close it, it'll still. If I hook it up to my my car, it still works just fine. So again, this is the OnePlus 10 Pro review. Um, I'm gonna give you another review, maybe in a few weeks if everything settles. Hopefully, this phone will work better. It could just be a one-off where it's just you know this phone. Um, but I'll give you I'll give you guys another review if um, if I don't have any issues I'll let I'll let everyone know because this this could have been a recommendation but at this point in time as of August sixteenth I would not recommend this phone definitely not especially not for someone that has iPhone already don't switch to this phone not yet not yet now again saying this I do like OnePlus. But this phone needs to be updated. Please give us some updates, OnePlus. Thank you. All right. Um, again, if you like this video, if I helped anybody, again, I will try to help more by putting out another post after this update. Um, if I helped anyone, please, if you can, like and subscribe. Um, my Robin Hood, my first trader at the bottom. Um, if you guys are interested in a, making a portfolio, they'll be able to help you out. Um, again, thanks again for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll get another video out on this phone. And um, everyone enjoy the rest of your day.